This match is scheduled for one fall, and it is, and it is for the Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling International Princess Championship! Challenger no Shokai, Fontana, California, Kara, Konojua, HBIC, Mio! International Princess Champion Joshi Pirolesu Shinjidai no Kurizuma Ito stand up in moments like this. Main event, Prestige Roseland 3, night one. Table's been set. There you see the main course, Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling International Princess Championship on the line. Maki Ito and Mia Yim, let's get to it, light it up. Yes sir, we promised you a great day to bed in James. How about that ovation for the cutest in the world? Cutest in the world, getting a raucous ovation that she deserves. Mia Yim, great ovation in her own right, but again, I couldn't help but notice during the, the streamer pour down, she tossed one very unceremoniously towards the face of Maki Ito. We gotta think it gets a little better. Mia Yim, a, a world traveled star in her own champion many times over, nationally televised, and here's Maki Ito. All the adulation from the Roseland faithful. It's, it, it's got a wear on you, mentor. I think it might, might wear on you coming expecting the home field advantage, perhaps, or maybe she just, again, wanted to get under the skin of the champion. HBIC certainly capable of doing that. Well, whatever the case, Maki Ito trying to get into this compromising position here. The fallen idol, a member of a Japanese idol group, told that her head was too big. Not talking about her ego, we're literally talking of the physical size of her cranium. So she transitioned to pro wrestling where she could headbutt a long live night and day. And that's exactly what she hopes to do. Head, 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 get squeezed by me. Yep. It's, it's, it's a target. I told the times that I have a big head, kind of a candy apple. I think, uh, I think they were talking more about your, uh, your ego. No, absolutely. Could, couldn't be me. Main event here, Roseland 3. Maki Ito unloading on Mia Yim and early going. And wildly off the court. But I will say, Joe, one of these things Maki is known for is taking a little too much time to soak up that adulation from the crowd. And when it's out in full force like this, Exactly, two wit. Salient point on cue from you, Jordan Castle. And but now Mia Yim not really following up in the way that you might expect. This the disrespect. But oh, no, she's very you made, made Machino cry. What kind of monster does that? Come on, it's the MC. Oh, it's step on the foot. Machino. Wiping away the tears. Uh, and offering, <laughs> offering a message to Mia Yim. Oh! oh by Maki Ito! Portland Timber from Maki Ito. That one found the mark, and Mia Yim sent reeling into the ropes. These fans ravenous here. Oh, Mia Yim caught her. For the international oh, princess Mia, Mia, champion. Maki, fall away slam with authority from Mia him absolutely planning Maki Ito setting her halfway across the ring. And that's a very good point, James. Oh, Mia Yim 
the bigger opponent, the very so stronger opponent in this match. Makito giving him so much size to him. Makito already favoring that lower back after that fall away slam, fighting from a kneeling position. And again, trying to become the new champion. Just what, a, what, a, what a great victory that would be for her. Oh! She's trying to rally behind the crowd, but you can see favoring that lower back area so much. Really having a hard time not giving it to get us off. Just, just tossed into the corner by Mia Yin. Yeah, showing off that strength advantage. And I want to point out to you, this is only Yin's third match back in the independent scene. She's got a lot to prove here tonight against the cutest in the world. Cutest in the world looking anything but right now at the mercy of Mia Yim, and she doesn't have much of that stalling and over with the vertical suplex cover. Could be new champion here, two and no. The blood rushing to her head after that stalling suplex. I'm not just talking about the red on her here. Mia Yim in firm control of Maki. Mia Yim looks like she got distracted perhaps momentarily, and that and there it is. All it takes is an instant. Makahito able to get back into this matchup, but not able to follow up. Just crumpling here, just crumpling at the oh hands boy. of Mia Yim. And uh -oh. now, now Champion. I think we're going surfing, James. Ch Ch Champion in trouble. Champion in big time trouble here. And I think you're right. Oh God. You can see just grasping at her neck. That's just, it's hurting the back, the, the, the lower extremities, the neck, the throat area, everything in pain. From Maki Ito right now. You don't want to hurt that, that neck of the voice of Maki Ito. How's she gonna sing her theme song? Oh! oh! Able to counter into a cover! But yeah, damage done severely to the back, and there just you saw the viciousness of that strike to the back from Yin to, to Ito. And she got caught off guard a little bit there. She was going for her own offensive maneuver. Ito able to, to counter into a pinfall. I get a little embarrassed there as Mia Yin being stood up by the champion. Mia Yim just firmly in control. Lackadaisical cover, oh. overconfident cover, almost delivered a new champion in spite of that. It is a match of middle fingers. Both of these ladies have a propensity for the oh, Mia tying the hair up into a ponytail. You know she means business. So what does she have in store for Ido? Yeah, hair tied back. Hashtag for Siege Roseland. As you follow along, we are in our main event. Maki Ito desperately reaching for the ropes. Mia Yim picking apart the champion. And, and Ito fading. Ito not able to reach the ropes. And it looks like she's absolutely fading here. This is not looking good for Ito to cave. Mia Yim with just a, a dominant night thus far. Crowd trying to learn that able to get to the ropes. Yim. Eventually breaking the hold. And did you see that? Not just wrenching her head, but pulling on the mouth there. Yes. Uh, making it hard to sing, but also pulling it on the teeth. Lips, suplex, into the cover, hooks the leg. New champion incoming. Two count only, but inching closer is Yim. Nearing the prize, and now just unloading. Ito barely able to cover up. Trying to shell defense into the cover, pinning her shoulders back, and was nearly there for three. James, Mia Yim here going for cover after cover. What does that tell you? That tells me that Mia Yim wants to put this away. She, got, she knows that the longer this match goes on, the more it favors the champion. She can't afford that. Yim understands the stakes. She understands the statement that this win would make beyond just having the gold, having it and earning it in such dominant fashion. And I mean, I, I think in many ways it would be a new hero. We're talking about a new hero. Oh, oh no. Oh, James, we've seen this before. Yes. The crowd letting me and you know that she may have made a very grievous error. The hard head of Baki Ito, when you trigger it, you have absolutely no mistake. And Baki Ito showing me and you just that, a headbutt rocking her across the ring. Maki Ito using her head for more than a hat, taking it to Mia Yim. And look at that, full dog into the cover. Two count only, still too much in the tank of Mia Yim, but the pendulum of momentum has swung back into the favor of the champion. Not since the early going have we seen this much life 
from Maki Ito. That big head into the turnbuckle did it. Mia Yim with her own Achilles heel. Saying Tornado DDT, perhaps can she connect? Oh, the world! Fight her! Into the cover, deep hook, two count only. Ito not able to retain, not yet. But she's firing up and she's got the crowd behind her. Maki Ito on a roll. Oh! oh. Yim able to get that right leg up and connect with the forehead. Not sure how much damage it did. But did you see that, James? Mia Yim trying to, trying to beat some, uh, some blood oh, back in the leg oh, there. Coming. She's favoring it, but it might not matter. Cover. New champion on the way. No. That's Whoa. some frustration seeping in, looking at the official, saying, you sure that wasn't three? But disrespected the Yim here. Smacking away at the braids of Maki Ito. Smacking away at the chest now is the HBIC. No! Ito able to counter and able to apply a sleeper hold. Hoping to put the HBIC asleep, but does Ito have enough strength? And middle finger for good measure. And the lights dimming it backbreaker! Modified out of that sleeper. The perennial rebel, middle finger of the world, and hoping to end it here. The defiance of Maki Ito. She's going up top. As she doesn't go to that high red district often, James. If she does, you know she means business. Mia Yim. Gotta be careful. Maki Ito measuring her Yim, sense that she was in the danger zone. Able to evade and put a stop to whatever aerial offense Ito had in mind. Oh, and they're on, they're on that apron. That is a dangerous place to be. The hardest part of a ring canvas, Kincaid. Both women playing a dangerous game here on the ring apron. Those are the risks you take when gold is on the line. And Yim just unloading shot after shot. But I think she connected with the hardest part of Ito's head. And yes! That dog won't hunt, but this one might. Oh, look at you. Whoa, she's got her on the rope. She's got her on that second rope here. Oh, and down. Face first. Hardest part of Maki Ito's head. And Mia's head going straight into the hardest part of the canvas. Cover here. No, Yim able to get a hand on the ropes. I thought Ito was going to retain there. High impact on the apron. Had to just send shockwaves through Yim's whole body, but still able to get her arm on the ropes to break up the pin. We've seen that so many times before tonight. Having the ring awareness to grab that rope and save me a Yim. Yim connecting with a clothesline, putting a stop to the forward progress of Ito, but Ito offering an elbow. Right to the chest, right to the sternum. That's going to make it hard to breathe for Mia. Chest and throat area indeed, but now another DDT! Did you see the elevation, Kincaid? Planning her, I saw it at him, but Yim! Yim able to offer a suplex, but not able to cast like the last bit of presence of mind. Mia Yim knew she had to do something before she crumpled in a heap in the ring. That's exactly what she was able to do. Give it up for these two. Yim got up to her feet after that DDT spike like it was nothing. The fortitude of these competitors is unreal. Every second counted. It was almost as if the brain needed just another moment to register what had just been done. It was enough time for Yim to deliver that suplex, and we're back to an almost proverbial tie ball game. TJPW International Princess Championship on the line, and Yim just flattened wow. Ito, but no. Oh my God, is this the end of a horror movie? This is terrifying. Rising to her knees there, the reincarnation of the forgotten idol. Mia Yim. Mia Yim's not scared. Mia, Mia Yim's Yim. not psyched out at all. She's not scared at all. No give in either one. Fighting their way back to their feet. Shot after shot. James, these athletes know that the Tokyo Joshi Pro International Princess Championship means and they are not going quietly into the night. And Maki Ito again using, dare I say, a well-educated head to Mia Yim. And looking, looking once again, 
Another DDT variety. To the wall! And down! Champion will retain here. You gotta believe it. No. Mia Yim refusing to keep her shoulder down for three. Frustration on Makita. What does she have to do? must concur with the crowd here at the Roseland Theater as Makito using their energy to fire back up. We've heard about a second win. I feel like with these ladies, we've seen a third, fourth, fifth, dare I say sixth win. And once again, Makito didn't get it before, heading back up top. High risk. What does she have in store Maybe. for Mia Yim measuring her? Maybe Gotta high be reward. Careful. Could be. No, it took too much time, Mia Yim. No at the bottom of the well for Maki Ito. Mia Yim able to avert disaster there and now could be set up to become new champion. Suplex into the bridge, new champion. No! Three was coming down, it was imminent. Referee says no. Maki cannot return back to the land of the rising sun without that championship. She knows what that would be for her. She knows what that would be for her stance in TJPW. It's too important to her. She's not giving up. Not if Mia Yim has anything to say about it, though, it'll be a long, lonely, sad night flight home for Maki Ito. And I want to point out that Maki, oh! The defiance. Staggering to her feet, not able to offer any offense other than just being literally as defiant as can be. I mean, that gesture is offensive, but not the offense she's looking for. And let me in. For the package pile driver here. Package pile driver, no, Makito knew that would have spelled the end of her championship. Shotgun drop kick from Mia Yim. Like a bullet straight to the chest. Dare I say, two of them with both feet and a big boot to follow it up. Here we go, Mia Yim. Getting ever closer. This is not a good place to be. This is not where you want to be with your Maki Ito. Only dangerous things happen here at Kincaid. Oh, now, not one, but two for Maki Ito from him. We get a middle finger counter on the screen. Goodness, oh, my God, she's biting him. He'll pull back a stump if you're not careful, Mia Yim. Maki Ito now using that head. It's a theme. You mosh it up with Masha's feet earlier. Now, now falling. Mia Yim is in the drop zone. Mia Yim is in the danger zone. Maki Ito is in the pilot seat. Headbutt flying on down. Will she retain? She does. Maki Ito wins.